dear ladies and gentlemen, how are you? I'm Hilda Jahiani with my partner Ardian Stiawan. We would like to present our research with the title Developing Electronic Rubrics for My Scores for Facilitating Online Learning, presented at IFICOL 2021. The first part of this presentation will be delivered by my partner Ardian Stiawan, then will be continued by me in the following sections. Thank you. The significance of this study lies upon some key aspects. The first is the shift from classroom base to virtual learning mode, especially during this pandemic, where learning mostly takes place in virtual space. Assessment of students' competence has also been a challenge, while assessment of practical skill is one of key features of vocational higher education. Therefore, we need assessment rubric for practical course like my course and also we consider um, the convenience and time efficiency provided by electronic rubric for the assessment process based on those uh, aspects then we formulate these research problems the first is what skills need to be assessed in my course next is what do students think about skills most important to be assessed in my scores and how is a rubric developed to facilitate both online and offline classes in this study we define a rubric as a tool of assessment listing some criteria along with the level of quality in each criterion and in the uh, and, and it comprises uh, a simple yes or no rating and also rating scales user like decisions while uh, the rubrics actually describe the performance of each criterion. We use the rubrics for the following reasons. First is improvement to assignments and instructions. Next is rubrics uh, clarify expectations for students. And next is formative assessment for students. And also we consider the consistency in grading, increase, uh, and that means uh, increased reliability, validity, and uh, standardized sessions. This will help teachers clarify feedback to students. And last, this also provides feedback to instructors. Rubric will provide some benefits. They can improve performance assessment, especially for analytical rubrics, and promote learning and or improve instructions. This research has an approach of DBR research and comprising of data collection methods. The first is using focus group discussion with students and also interview with students and teachers and also questionnaire to do the first uh, testing with the teacher. And basically we adapted from the theory that we are using the four phases of development the first is we did preliminary study to find out the rubric uh, based on what students point of view we did a focus group discussion then the product development from the focus group discussion that we develop product development then we did expert validation to validate what we have been developed in the rubric and last but not least is the field testing Okay, the stages practically for the rubric development following Borg and Gal comprising here six different phases that we adapted as I mentioned previously. So we did several stages of rubric development here. In this case, we had my rubric for online classes that we modified um, from the ready one then modified for the purpose of our offline classes because we right now we do not use the offline classes anymore so we gain some ideas and also uh, some advice recommendation from the students from the fgd to explore what actually criteria needed for the online or virtual mice activities after that, we conduct a, uh, the development of the rubric 
in stage one. Then we did the validation of the rubric with the teachers of mice. Then after that, after we obtained some recommendation or advice or some uh, actually inputs from the teachers, then we did the development of rubric two. Then we transformed the manual rubric to the digital one, uh, which is the last product of our rubric. Here, the result of this research is electronic rubric, which is relevant for online project, which is tailored for online activities, for webinars and for exhibitions and so forth. So in this focus group discussion, we actually gained some ideas from the students. They said that some of the criteria needed for evaluation in mice class or mice activity is actually communication and skills for conducting for conducting or performing the mice activities and uh, they also mentioned that teamwork and ethics um, breaking ethics and also taking initiative is also important in this case then after that we got the rubric refinement which uh, for us to restructure the rubric referring to the fgd and also we use some literature um, we also had a framework of developing mice uh, evaluation then the expert validation uh, had some result that um, it should have been done earlier before the product development why so because if we did the other way around it would not be time uh what is it um it's it's not to be very linear or it would be uh, really difficult for us to come uh, go and go back and forth to the it expert in this case uh, we should have made this ready first, then we continue to the development of digital rubric. And we also consider that the content or uh, the criteria uh, of the rubric should be clear and fixed before we give it to the IT expert to make the application. Okay. So in this, in this very last uh, stage that we did is we developed the manual rubric to the digital one. The digital one here is the actually our product, which is not finished yet because we plan to make um, this electronic rubric ready in the Android or in other platforms, okay? Not only in the web-based platform. Um, and we also had conducted here training the rubric with some teachers um, with my teachers in order to be able to use it um, yeah we had some times also discussion and also a kind of um, negotiations and um, meetings with the it experts in this case uh, to make the rubric to improve the rubric and in this part it's quite challenging because somehow we have to transform what we needed with the what is that the uh the it the it developer could do okay that was the result of uh our pro uh, our project at the moment so we we actually plan to do more than this that the rubric is tailored one so we can develop other rubrics to be used in that platform so here is the mice rubric for offline class before so we took it from the ready rubric then we uh, actually made a little bit efficient or 
you know, uh, give some revision to this rubric and use it for all offline class. Then after that, we transform the rubric into the online rubric for the MICE online project. Then uh, our team of research discussed about it. Then we finally came into uh, two types of MICE, that is webinar and exhibition. And there are five areas, task areas. In this case, that student can be first is leader and the second is registration and certificate the third is publication and sponsorship and last is program event so here is the web-based electronic rubric that we are developing at the moment okay so we'll first like we created the manual one of course but the challenge is that how to create this criteria and then also we explain what criteria it is. And to make a measurement here, um, how much that we should give um, the communicative competence, for example, what the percent So we discussed this with our teacher and also to mention the aspect of communicative here, there are some aspects to consider like pronunciation, fluency, accuracy, and so forth. Then the, the level here, we made five, six levels instead of uh, five or four in order to give more options and also uh, explanation, which is clear to the evaluator or to the assessor why it is here like for example this is like one two three four five six okay so the level of the um the assessment here is quite um here is quite many because we've got six here that is bad poor it should come actually in in our uh, electronic rubric that is bad poor and then good, very good. That is bad, poor, good, very good, then excellent. And the second aspect to, uh, to measure is the personal skill. This is also what we obtain from the focus group discussion and also from the teachers that this skill is very important to measure because they comprise of some uh, criteria that students need to show during the mice uh, practice, like taking initiatives and attitude, leadership and responsibility. Because when we perform an action to do even organize and organizing an event, we have to have this kind of skills. And um, we also need to consider here, which is quite much uh, compared to others, that is my professional competence here, 50%, uh, including knowledge of culture or frameworks here. It's kind of uh, knowledge of the mice that they need to understand uh, dealing with the task area like the quality of the completion of their task and teamwork as well. Then last but not least here, uh, okay, and that there is only two actually. We also have the total score at last and the teacher can write uh, some notes here or the remarks dealing with the student's performance. So it could be there and so that the teacher will uh, give some feedback or kind of notes to the students in order to improve their practice for next session. Okay, so here in the discussion, um, we have revised the online 
mice rubric here which comprise communicative competence and mice professional competence following time 2014 which is really important to consider in the way like students perform mice activity not only doing the task but they also have a kind of com communication uh, skill that they need to perform as well and those sort of competencies also related to the cognitive behavioral and affective as what um, the scholars mention here as we did uh, as we explained it earlier that we actually adapted um, the dbr method from borg and gal into some simple method that was based on our need um, so we completed the manual rubric first then we transform that manual into the digital one okay in conclusion uh, here in creating the mice rubric for online activities we integrated some language and also professional competencies to add here in our rubrics and and we understand that um, this kind of rubric should be also uh, friendly users, not only in the web-based use, but also could be in the mobile use, which will be convenient or very practical, especially for the teachers in order to access that. Okay, and it should be a handy and more engaging experience for the assessment completion for the teacher. So it's an option to create a fair and also detailed as well as, you know, useful method for assessment. Thank you so much and goodbye.